Hello and welcome to Scratch 3.0, released in the United States on the 2nd of January 2019. Scratch is developed by the Lifelong Kindergarten Group and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology Media Lab, found at scratch.mit.edu. If you wish, you can sign up to Scratch under Join Scratch and you can use the site uh, also without logging in but if you sign up you can view thousands of scratch projects and have the ability to view the coding of someone else's project you can then deconstruct the code remash it and then save it as your own project you can also store your projects online or you can download your work to your computer scratch is free about browser based and multi-platform capable. You can also down a free offline, offline editor version. Scratch is a programming language where you can create, create your own stories, games and animations and share your creations with others around the world. Uh, Google Chrome is the recommended browser for using the Scratch website and you have to enable Flash. To download the free offline editor, I found it easier to go to Google and then search for Scratch Offline Editor and then uh, click on uh, the first link that appears. Make sure that it's uh, from scratch.mit.edu, download. Simply click on that, then it downloads to your computer. You look into your uh, downloads folder and then double click on the file uh, you'll see that it's the scratch 3.0 when you hover over it uh, then it appears on your desktop as this icon here this was the previous version so opening up the 3.0 version looks similar but there are some changes so to bring in a sprite from the sprite library you now have to hover your mouse over this and then when you click on the um, magnifying glass this is where you can now search for, for sprites. You'll notice there's a search box and you've also got your uh, familiar categories as well. Uh, we're going to go in and search for the parrot. Now you'll notice that when you hover over sprites now you can see what costumes are available and what the animation would look like. So we're going to choose the parrot and we don't need the cat anymore. In previous versions we used to just right click on the cat but now uh, there's no um, ability to do that here in this stage you have to come down to the sprite area, right click and delete. So just some uh, differences. Also another difference is we used to have shrink and grow up here in previous versions. You now need to control the size down here. I'm going to change this parrot to uh, down 50 and then you push enter and it changes the size. Then I'm just going to move it to the top left of the stage. Uh, now we're going to start our animation. All your uh, codes are down the left hand side, still under the different categories. We're going to choose event and start with the fa familiar when green flag is clicked. Then we want to make sure that the parrot starts in this position each time someone comes to our project. So we're going to choose motion and we're going to choose go to the X and Y coordinates. Because we've already placed our sprite in this position, Scratch has picked up the X and Y coordinates automatically. So we're going to place that under our first block. Then we want to uh, have a wait time of uh, and that's under the controls uh, we want a wait time and we'll change that in a minute we also want to have looks and we want to be able to change from this 
costume to the second. So if we go under costumes for a minute, we want to be able to just change to that costume. And then when we put the forever block in, it will forever change between the costumes. So let's go back and we want our next costume. Then under motion, uh, we'd like the bird to move across the stage. So we need a move and we'll adjust how much by for the steps. Then uh, when uh, the sprite reaches uh, the edge, either edge, we want it to turn around and come back. So we choose it's down further, if on edge bounce, so we choose that. And we place all of this in a forever block which is under controls and we choose forever. Then we join it up. Now you'll notice the coordinates are outside the forever block. If the coordinates were inside the forever block, that would mean you're asking it to stay here forever. So just remember when you want a sprite to go to coordinates just to begin with, then place it outside the forever block. Now we're going to change the wait time to 0.25. And we're going to change the move down to 7. Let's see what this looks like. Uh, I know from experience that there is going to be some troubleshooting, but let's have a look so you can see as well. So animation is OK. So the issue is uh, if on edge bounce, so it's been rotated and now the parrot is upside down. So I'm just going to wait for it to come back. It will get put up the right way when it comes this way. But we do want it, uh, when it reaches the right hand side, we do want it up the right way. So this will come from motions and we want it So just under our block, if on edge bounce, immediately after that is set rotation style. And we want it to stay upright, so this means left, right. So now when we play the animation, when the parrot reaches the right hand side of the stage, our code will say if on edge bounce, then be because we've put the code in set rotation style left to right, the parrot stays upright. So I'm happy with the coding. Now for the background, uh, in the past uh, there were some icons down the bottom that you could choose. Uh, it's now under this little menu here, choose a backdrop, and we're going to do a search. And again, the familiar categories, or you can search for uh, by a particular word. So if you want the desert, uh, it can find it immediately. You'll notice that uh, this background has only one costume, so there's no animation for this background. We click on that, and then uh, when we play our... code you'll see the bird is flying backwards and forwards across the desert. So we're happy with that. Now to save you do file, you can save to your computer or if you have a, uh, logged into Scratch on the web based version you can load from your computer. So what I do is I usually, I have both. So I've got the offline editor, which I'm working in at the moment. I save it to my computer and then I then upload from my computer to the web-based version. Now for those of you who like a challenge, uh, I'm going to take you to uh, my account and have a look at my
and then when we look for the parrot one so those of you who are confident or love a challenge in scratch then if you can see if you can duplicate or uh, even do something more complicated than uh, this version here that I did in 2017. So have fun and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you for watching.